So why are cyber attacks becoming more common and what's the future hold? Well, you're going to see that cyber attacks and cybersecurity are going to be a lot more common in the news because artificial intelligence is now being deployed by hackers to launch these attacks. When you have to do it manually, hand-to-hand -hand combat, it's a lot more difficult. You can't do as many attacks. But when AI can start using these vectors to get into companies, you're going to see a lot more of them happen. This is going to be, as it says here, a major risk to businesses. Every business is going to have this attack uh, deployed on them. How well you defend it, how well you respond to it, that's going to be the determining factor. In fact, they're getting so bold as now hackers are starting to attack law firms and legal departments. You have to have a lot of confidence in your ability to launch an attack if you're going to go after law firms, and they do. They're using legal search terms to um, get into a law firm, and then from there, they can get all kind of sensitive information about clients. So make sure if you're a law firm, you have the proper protections, but also you're insured against damages that a hacker would do to your clients. In addition, the other reason that hacks are being more successful is there's what's called a digital fatigue. What is digital fatigue? What that means is that employees are just burnt out and worn out of cybersecurity type efforts. You have to be very careful not to put too much cyber defense, cybersecurity on the backs of employees. You want to have that done in your IT department. More likely, you want to have outsource cybersecurity forces protecting you because they're going to know what are the common, most um, urgent threats and they're also going to be aware of what are the emerging threats look what the the risks are today are going to be different even two weeks from now so if you're a manager you're a director you're an officer make sure you have the proper protocols in place and also make sure you have proper coverage under your directors and officers insurance because you may be liable if some things like this happen cyber attacks look any major business operational risk is your responsibility as a director, as a CEO, as a president. So first of all, having things in place to prevent it is important, but also coverage. You have coverages for many other types of operational risk as an executive in your company. And be aware, attorneys are not immune. We saw um, in our prior video, we talked about how car dealerships are being attacked. Now law firms are being attacked. If you have questions about cybersecurity or want more consultation, you can reach us at our website using the link below.